Oh, here it is, room 30. And now we get a boomer card. I had talk and think at the same time. Ah. Oh, there's a key. Let's see, wasn't it all over here somewhere? Yep. Ah. Okay, let's see. The show actually made like a million billion references to a uh, popular media apparently that is bunch of references to popular media and whatnot. Ow. Take this, and that, and that, and this. Hmm. No. Uh. And then there's those weird things. Usually I just let them keep growing over and over again and get a bunch of points from them, but I have not the time to be doing that here. Because you people go arg, 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 and whatnot. Da 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 da! I almost got hit by that curse ya. Yeah. It curses ya, yeah, and does stuff to ya, and yeah, 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 yeah. Curses are weird. Ah, the sun buddies. Come on down here, you. Always take three hits no matter what. Even if you do that. And that. And this. Hey, the key. However, if you recall, I said before that I can. You can sometimes use berry to, um. I'm going to go with that. You can sometimes use berry to both hit a berry hit and jump on it, so yeah, I can do that as somebody. And there's those things. Usually you can use Luigi to hack them from below. Unless you don't want to get attacked from below at a time, but... You got attacked from below, darn you. Fine, get attacked from the above, whatever. Yeah, talking about stuff that's not this video game is totally a good idea, isn't it? And then there's these weird raven ninjas that are... that usually only show up in the pit of Samur Trials. Da da da. Ow. There's a lot of them down there, aren't there? Oh, that's not working. That kind of worked. Ow. Why is it going through the wall? Okay, there we go. Sometimes they manage to avoid getting killed by being big jerks. But they that one didn't. Those didn't anyway. There we go. Oh what? Hey, you stupid uh, Whatever. Here's the key. Didn't even get hurt. Ah. Alrighty. That's enough of them. So let me think again. Um, I cannot talk and think at the same time. And by the way, how much points do I need to level up? Not a whole lot more. Hey, it only yeah, the Lizzie Beetles only have one hit point in this game, which is kind of funny. I think this. I don't think any enemy in um, Paper Mario had any. Just one HP, but here a lot of enemies only have one hit point because you can only do one hit point when you start out, so like boomers and stuff. Aha! It's, um. Magic Koopa time. I like, I like hitting your spells back at them. It's too bad they didn't do the, um. regular, um. uh. geometrical spell, though. Ow. Aha! Aha, the key! Still trying to think of what I'm trying to say. Still trying to sync what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Uh. Okay, yeah, whatever. I'm just not going to bother with it anymore. It's probably a bad idea anyway. Ah! Oh, yes, Fire Bros. They were from Super Mario Bros. 3. 
and they should reference um, better games like the Paper Mario games instead of just pretend they don't exist. Or I guess, yeah, they should do what Mario and Luigi 3 did, which is reference the older Paper Mario games a lot more instead of just random capture cards of partners and stuff. And then a single appearance in Paper Mario 2. Yeah, and at the end of Paper Mario 2, Grotus and the X-Nots survives, as well as Crumb. Now, Tech, Tech survives too, but Tech makes sense because you can actually go and talk to him. But Grotus and the, uh, Grotus and the X-Nots and Lord Crumb, he can't go talk to them. Now, Smithy died. Bowser is a main villain, so he doesn't count. Cat died. Uh, the Shroobs sort of... I guess Princess Shroob died. I guess the Elder One um, sort of turned into a mushroom, but I don't know what happened to her. Count Black um, and Count Black went to live as Tippy in magical land of niceness and stuff, and Dementia died. Every, almost every single RPG villain of Mario games ever dies at the end, except the x knots That is why I think that the x knots are probably going to come back again in the later game somehow. It, is, it doesn't make sense for them to randomly decide to make them um, survive for no reason at all. Maybe I'm just thinking this and I'm completely wrong, but it just makes more sense to me. It doesn't make sense that they would just have them survive for no reason. I mean, maybe you might say, well, they wanted you to, like, everyone to be alive and happy and yada yada. Well, they haven't done that before. Well, I guess, and again, I suppose they didn't, they, um, I suppose they didn't really do that in Paper Mario games before, since, um, Bowser survive and not not, but I didn't do that in Mario and Luigi and Super Mario RPG games, but whatever. The point is, I predict Grotus and Lord Crump, or at least Grotus and the Exos or something like that, will appear again sometime. I'm not saying that I super hope they will, and if they don't, I'm going to go Uma or anything. I'm just, that's my prediction. Ow, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to attack you, not to attack me. Yeah, Pokey seem to have, as Cthulhu has mentioned, seem to have magically become normal for them to be have a flower on their head instead of like this. Except that uh, the um, Paper Mario games decided to just keep the regular old Pokey and not flowerize him or anything. Of course, you can't actually jump on him in this game, so that makes sense. And I'm not going to waste forever with these guys because. It's not like I can, um... Okay, you know what, this would be a good time to use the Shirley Leaf. Ow. Aha. Eventually, it just starts getting kind of hard to... not get killed, but... here we go. Like, all the shells... oh wait, I'm just gonna... sit here and let this guy kill himself. That was fun. Of course, I didn't get any points for it. Oh well. Uh, another curse, yeah. Don't talk to Green and say that was quick. Yeah, I like it when the key, when the door, the key, and the opening or the entrance all show up in the same area. It makes it easier for me. And my computer went to sleep mode. Doesn't actually matter, but um, it does matter because I don't want the I don't want a equals two error. Or do I? No, I don't. And then that. Get back here, you red thing. Wait, why am I chasing this red thing? It does not have the key. Oh well, point is always good. I just need um, a little less than 60,000 more points to level up. And it's always useful to level up near the end here, of course, because in of course, and again, the H heart point is really the only thing that you have to worry about, which is different from the normal Paper Mario RPG games, in which case you have to worry about um, heart points and star points and what doors over there. It's dumb. Uh, I could flip to Mario and then flip to 3D and get through this area, but but I don't want to flip to Mario. Ow. There you go. And let's see, what 
level am I on now, anyway? 47. I think this one has a lot of these turbo things, which sounds like gerbil too much. La 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 la. Hey, ride shroom, I can eat that and heal an HP. Yes, I can heal in horsepower. Yes, under horsepower. Ah. I don't want to touch that. Here we are. What? I don't have the key yet. Uh, I thought I had the key. Die! I missed! Another dried shroom. It's not horrible. But it's just not trial stew. Trial stew is an interesting item they toss in. It's kind of like the badges that do double double damage badge and the slow go badge.